What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, and we're going to go through the road to the title for Stefano Pass. He's coming in as the number three seed, and he's just coming off his first French Open final and his first Grand Slam final, but can he convert his game onto the grass courts? Let's go see who he's playing in the first round. So in his first round matchup, it's an absolute nightmare. He's going to have to play Francis TFO. Now, he does have a winning record over TFO, 1-0. That was in the next-gen final, so a little bit of a smaller competition, an abbreviated scoring system, so it's going to be a much different matchup this time around round, but he should get through based on their current form. The second round matchup could be potentially against Pospisil, who's a big serving Canadian. That is a tough matchup for City Pass on the fast courts of Wimbledon, but he does have a 1-0 record over Pospisil, so that will be a confidence boost for City Pass. In the third round, he could potentially be playing the big Russian, Green Hashinov, the number 25 seed. Now, even though City Pass does have a 3-0 record over Hashinov, they have played some very close matches, and on the fast courts, Hashinov's game is going to be really, really good, so City Pass is going to have to play a hell of a match match to get through Hashinov in that third round. The fourth round, there are two players potentially waiting for him. City Pass has winning records over both. The first one being the 22nd seed, Dan Evans. City Pass has a 3-0 record over Evans, so he'll be loving his chances if he does have to play the 22nd seed. And the other being Alex Diminor, the 15th seed. He has a 5-0 record over Diminor, so again, if City Pass has to play Diminor, he'll be loving his chances against him as well. In the quarterfinal, there are two big names that City Pass is probably going to be facing. The first one being Batista Agu, who City Pass has a 2-0 record over. So again, if City Pass does make it to the quarterfinals against RBA, he'll be liking his chances. And the other being Shapovalov. Now, that is the more dangerous opponent. City Pass actually has a losing record against Shapo, 1-3. And we all know that Shapovalov hits very explosive ground strokes and has a very big serve. And on the grass courts, that could be a very dangerous matchup for City Pass. So he'll be hoping that he has to play RBA and avoid Shapo at all costs. If he makes it into the semifinals, there are two big names. The first one being Novak Djokovic, the defending champion, the world number one. And that is going to be a very, very tough matchup. They did play at the French Open a couple of weeks ago on the clay courts. It went five sets. But this is going to be a grass court event, so it's going to be a much tougher match for City Pass. And he has a losing record against Djokovic, two and six. So we'll see if City Pass can maybe take some revenge against Djokovic if they do play. And the other opponent being Rublev, the number five seed. Now, City Pass has a winning record over Rublev, four and three. But on the grass courts, I would favor Rublev in that one. So it'll be interesting to see how City Pass does adjust his game from clay to grass. And if he does play someone like a Rublev, how he can compete with the hard hitting of Rublev. In the final, there are four opponents potentially waiting for City Pass. The first one, Roger Federer. Now he has a 2 2 record over Federer, which is actually pretty good. Not too many players have a good record against Federer. So City Pass, he might actually like his chances if he does get to the final against Fed. The next opponent being Sasha Zverev. Now he has a 6 2 record over Zverev. So again, if he plays Sasha in the final of Wimbledon, he might like his chances because of that winning record. And he did beat him at the French Open a couple of weeks ago. The third opponent, being Berrettini and again he has a winning record over Berrettini 2 and 0 so again that confidence will be with City Pass if they do meet in the final and the third opponent is the number 2 seed Daniel Medvedev now City Pass has a bad record against Medvedev Two wins, six losses. But he did beat Medvedev a couple of weeks ago at the French Open, so maybe that'll give him some confidence. But if he does play Medvedev in the final, you'd expect that Medvedev would be the more confident of the two. So there it is, the road to the title, the Wimbledon title for Stefano City Pass. We haven't seen him play on the grass courts for two years. He didn't play any warm-up events either. So let me know down in the comments below, how far do you think Steph can go this year? I know some of you think that he can probably win the whole thing. But Stefano City Pass, the French Open finalist of a couple of weeks ago, let's see how far he's going to go at Wimbledon in 2020. 21.